Hi everyone, welcome back to Jolie Knots Crochet. I'm Crystal and today we're going to be doing a sweater and cardigan roundup. All of these patterns are already on the channel except one and I'll tell you about that one a little bit later. The majority of my patterns are listed from adult size small all the way up to an adult 5x. There are a couple of patterns here and there that are only up to two and 3x. I think just two of them. Basically what I'm going to do is show you some of my favorite ones. I'll leave links in the description box below of the video as well as the written pattern that you'll find on Ravelry. You can find me and all of my other makes on Facebook under Jolie Knots Crochet. Also Instagram under Jolie Knots Crochet. I do have a Jolie Knots Crochet community group on Facebook that you can join the little community and we show each other, help each other out with different patterns and you can show us what you've created. All right, so I don't know how many actually there are here. I did not count, but I guess I should count and then uh, let you guys know <laughs> how many I have. So um, a little bit about me and my background of crocheting. I learned when I was a kid and I never learned to read a pattern. I'm left-handed. I was never taught. I was never really very interested. I just kind of did my own thing and made up my own stuff. Um, so I guess you could say that I always was in a way a crochet designer, but I just never shared patterns because I didn't know how to read one. I didn't know how to write one. So these ones that I'm sharing with you, I did write patterns for, and I just started writing patterns last summer. So almost a year and a half ago. If you get some of my earlier patterns, they're not as well written, so they're really inexpensively priced, but I am working on getting some of those updated and retested. I was able to find almost all of the ones that I wanted to show you guys. One I did give to my sister, and then another one or two I actually couldn't find. It really just started cooling down here in Los Angeles like a couple of weeks ago so I really haven't had to wear a sweater until like less than two weeks ago so I couldn't find everything um, but the first thing that I'm going to show you this is the everyday chunky pullover this pattern is really made in one long panel one front made of double crochets, chains, and single crochets. And then we leave a slit open for the neck and then finish the panel going all the way to the back. So it's like the front, a neckline, and then the back all in one. From there, then you are just gonna seam up the sides. Arms are all double crochet. And then we work the bottom. The bottom is the split where the front is longer than the back, but of course that's customizable. So the Every Other Day Chunky Pullover uh, comes in adult and child sizes. Don't forget to check the link in the description box below. Okay, the next one we have here is the Batwing Sweater. This sweater is worked all in one piece. The bottom is made of a band and then we close the band and work our way from the bottom up slowly increasing the arms so we can get that bat wing look and then they will separate and we'll work just back and forth um, and seam up at the top to hold open now this one is made with a um, three weight yarn I have here a cotton one um, I have worn this already a couple of times just as it's starting to cool down, but it's not like super freezing. I mean, it's not, you can do it in a um, higher weight yarn if you want it to be heavier and thicker if it's cold where your winters are. This one also is available in child size and adult size, and you'll find that information below also. Next one we have here is the two by two v-neck pullover. So this one has worked differently. You do have to construct this one. Most of my patterns are very, very minimal sewing or worked mostly in one piece and then like maybe you seam the shoulders up. This one you are actually making the front panel and the back panel separately. So we start here on the front panel where the neckline is and then we increase 
okay and work the rest of that panel and then we turn it over and work the other side of the front panel increasing and then we do the same thing for the back panel with no increases and then we attach that we put the front and the back together and then we make the arms all in one piece in rounds and we've got what is this called a bunched sleeve <laughs> i'm drawing a blank um, and then we've got a bunched sleeve and also the bottom band so those are put on last so this one does not come in child sizes this one is only um, in adult size all the way up to size 5x and that will also be linked in the description box i also made this one with a size three weight yarn okay so the next one that i'm going to show you is not necessarily a cardigan or a sweater but it's more of a shawl with pockets so you kind of wear it like a cardigan or a sweater because of the shape this one is called the lazy diamond boho pocket shawl it does have fringe and essentially we are making this with five squares so three big squares that we're putting together almost as if we had one big square and then it's like you have the fourth one cut out I guess you'd say so it's like one square one square one square and then the two squares for the pockets um, this is a one size fits all shawl but you can make your squares bigger just by doing more repeats now this is more like a boho style where you have the raised ridges but it's not a heavy shawl it's actually this is made with a four weight yarn but i feel like this four weight yarn is not super thick but it is kind of heavy i'm not sure exactly how that makes sense it's not really thick but it's heavy anyways the stitch, stitch definition is awesome that's one of my favorites and there we have the pocket but you can make this larger or smaller if you're going to do a child size um, anything else about that of course optional fringe next we are going to show you this is the coco swancho okay <laughs> i'm gonna make a video for you guys of this and i haven't yet or maybe you guys can tell me maybe you just want to know like what this pattern is like it we have sideways puff stitches so essentially depending on of course the yarn that you use my color rows are worked like this we're working in long long rows all the way up your front down your back but the pattern itself makes it look like striped this way so depending on if you're using a color changing yarn or if you're using a solid color yarn you're going to have two different looks because you might not have the look that's going down and you just see the pattern going across but this, while it is airy, this is a heavy um, weight yarn. It's a, it's a four weight yarn. It's Lamia Wool Easy. So it's actually really warm. Actually kind of too warm. At least right now I can't wear it. It's too warm and it's hot. So we did this kind of like, you know, in rows like this, made a slit and then worked down the other side in rows and then folded that in half and made sleeves. You can leave the sleeves off if you want, but then I suppose it's just a poncho and not like a swancho, like a sweater poncho. And then we seamed up part of the sides. And of course that's customizable to how you would like it. There are directions in the written pattern on how to size this yourself. So essentially is if you want a long poncho then you have a different starting chain than if you have if you want like a shorter poncho and then depending on how tall you are or how wide you are and how wide you long your sleeves should go it tells you how many repeats you need to work on each side so that you know like if you're really tall then your sleeves not going to come to like you know right here or if you're really short your sleeves not going to be like so far out that you know it looks silly and doesn't fit <laughs> okay i have a couple more hopefully you guys are hanging in there and this video isn't too long the one i am going to show you now is the juliet hooded 
pocket shawl. This is the new one that's released with the sideways puffs. This does have the same shape as the Lazy Diamond Boho pocket shawl, but it is worked in one piece as the entire shawl instead of three separate squares. The pockets are smaller. They're not big squares. They're more like um, hand phone sized where the D boho diamond shawl was a lot bigger. And then this does have a hood. And I have worn this a couple of chilly evenings already in LA and it's getting kind of cold here. So we've got our nice hood. It's hard to put this on while I'm sitting down. Okay, so even putting it on, it's got a nice size hood. And you have the design of the shawl coming around the hood as the border. And then, of course, we have our pockets here. And the front is straight, similar as like a cardigan would be. And that's why I'm showing it to you in this video, where you can literally just like throw it over. That's what the back looks like. All right, and let me see what's the next one. Now, this one is not necessarily for winter, but it is a summer cardigan. This is just the boho summer cardigan. And this is also made in long rows. It is oversized, it does not have sleeves. This is also with um, ZZ Twist, which is a four weight yarn, but has a really, really beautiful drape to it so I would suggest using that if you have that I did add a fringe on the bottom of this one also and you can use you know a thicker four or like a wool or something if to cover you up a little bit now the last two that I want to tell you about I one I gave to my sister and then one I just couldn't find in my storage bins or I, I misplaced a bin or I just I don't know I didn't look well enough um, it's one of my favorites is the slanted granny v-neck pullover um, That one is with the mandala tweed yarn and that one is just so comfortable and airy and roomy and While it's not completely oversized as far as like hanging down to your thighs it has a nice wide bottom band and it still has a nice fit on top that feels oversized so it's not like too constricting or too hot. That also goes all the way up in adult sizes to 5X. And then the last one that I want to tell you guys about is the Flounder Fan Cardigan. Um, this one comes in child sizes and adult sizes up to 5X, but the front does have some sort of like, um, like a lapel that has a look and then the bottom is like an asymmetrical drop and it's made of like little fans in vertical rows uh, like staggered fan that is also a four weight yarn I used a ZZ twist for that one too I got a whole bunch of ZZ twists when it was on sale for a dollar back in the day <laughs> so I did use that for a lot of projects oh there's one more I'm coming back okay this one is also another one I couldn't find this one is the crystal cardigan or the crystal coat cardigan it's got a hood I'll put some pictures up but this one is also obviously if you could tell I have an, this oversized feel to me um, and I don't like to do a lot of sewing so a lot of my pieces are made in one piece this one is made from the bottom up also has a hood you can add pockets if you like they are optional um, and I did put a sash with this one. You can add one or you don't have to. This one is made with a bulky five weight yarn. This one, a light five, is not really going to be ideal. A bulky five is going to be best to, you know, give it that feeling that I picture it needing. <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> so that one will also be linked down below thank you everybody for watching Jolie Knotts Crochet I appreciate you all being here and thank you so much um, for subscribing we're getting close to 35,000 subscribers and don't forget to like and subscribe all my videos are available in left and right-handed tutorials